breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Everybody is exposing the other person. And so, Tinubu guys have gone to dig up on at large Atiku Abubakar. And they are saying they found fraud on his Waiyek results. Um, that um, Atiku Abubakar was bearing another name. So everybody is trying to expose the other person so that when, um, you know, Atiku goes to court and bring Chicago State University um, issue, they can say, we have a Wayek result here too. Alaji Atiku Abubakar speaks on this forgery, uh, you know, Nigeria now, they just they check everybody because uh, <laughs> no man even know what they happen. Only God go feed epos the way the country they go so please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe let's get all the details as tinubu picks on atiku why my yx certificate bears sadiq abubakar atiku responds to forgery allegations the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, PDP, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, has explained the discrepancies in his senior school certif examination certificate, SSCE. Atiku offered the clarification through Dele Momod, one of his aides, on Tuesday in a post on his social media platform, X. According to Dele Momod, the clarification became necessary following the allegations of forgery against his principal by members of the ruling of Progressive Congress APC. As Tinubu's men searched the, put the searchlight on Atiku Abubakar to find out any discrepancies they could use to save themselves at the Supreme Court. Members of the All Progressive Congress has questioned the name Sadiq Abubakar in Atiku's Wayek certificate as against other credentials that shows Alaji Atiku Abubakar. However, Dele Momod said he forwarded the accusation to the former vice president who also provided an answer for the discrepancies. Dele Momod wrote, APC busybody have been, has been bombarding themselves with allegations of forgery. Yes, we know against their principal and now they want to put the same thing on Alaji Atiku Abubakar. Atiku will not go all the way to the United States if he has anything fishing. I immediately forwarded him and here is his response. Yes, I used Sadiq Abubakar to sit for my Waiyek and after passing my exams I went to swear an affidavit and said I am the same person as Atiku Abubakar. Sadiq is also one of my names. I went to ABU as Atiku Abubakar and passed my exams as Atiku Abubakar. I interviewed as Atiku Abubakar by the Federal Civil S S Services Commission hired into, into custom service as Atiku Abubakar. So where is the forgery? Alaji Atiku Abubakar has said, can APC social media bullies forward the, the same question to their boss and see the response they will get? If he can tell you the primary, secondary, and university he went, can he clarify this? Let's stop deceiving ourselves and face the real truth. Tinubu has forged certificate. Don't try to rope others in by getting yourself out of the same problem you have already enroped yourself. Let's stop this whole thing and join the truth. Reveal the truth. You know it is better you resign honorably than you are sent packing by the court. Atiku has responded to Tinubu. So this is what is happening. Uh, the, I mean, the cases continue to go on and on as everybody is pointing fingers on the other person saying, no, you, you forged. You say, no, I did not forge. You say, yes, get me, look at my own results. I say, what about you? What about your own results? So these are, these are some of the Issues we are dealing with currently as we speak, even right about now. Alaji Atiku Abubakar has come to say, I did not forge certificate. If I forged it, you will know. I didn't forge anything. Okay, so those who are saying there is a forgery somewhere. After I used Sadiq, which is one of my name, I went to swear an affidavit. Can Tinubu say the same thing of himself? You know, so everybody is pointing finger at the other person, say, you know what, clarify yourself. Don't uh, don't put the finger on me. If you know you have something to sort out, please go ahead and sort yourself out. Don't try to get me involved into whatever you are doing. So these are some of the issues going on right now. Atiku is being accused of saying, oh, you forced certificate. Uh, you also, you are not clean. But uh, Atiku has used daily moments to say, don't mind it, okay? 
He's looking for sympathizers or those who will be on the same ship with him. But this ship has sailed, okay? So if he's looking for those who are on the same uh, pedestrian with this ship has sailed, tell him not to bother. That there is no such thing as a mate. We are not mates, okay? We are not mates at all. If he has anything more to say, he should come out and tell Nigerians. I did not forge certificate. If I forged it, I will not be bold enough to go to to go to Chicago State University and tell anybody, you know, to come. I because I know that the same rope has tied me. Why will I want to do that? Well, my people, now so the matter, the heat also, now so we just the hear and they understand some of those things where they go on. Everybody wants to get the other person involved saying you self you're not clean and that person say ah, ah, me are clean they say no you're not clean but the truth of it is that at the end of the day nigerians will get ourselves sorted now last last we'll do all right we go know the truth not worry the things are changing it's just that the pace of the change is so slow it cannot even be seen felt or even known that something of such is happening so that's why nigerians really we really want this change to come like right about now we need we need speed in terms of of where we are headed how we are going and you know when do we actually begin to see some of this impact sincerely truly speaking you know so these are some of the things that are really really going on right about now anyway my lovelies what do you think do you think we should you know just keep quiet and just allow things to just continue in those way or should we honestly sincerely rise up and say you know what enough is enough we don't share in this in this sherry of uh, you know of lies you're trying to parade we want the honest sincere truth so that people can truly begin to you know prioritize you know where they stand that we can truly sincerely begin to know who we are you know we cannot have a president who cannot who is not verifiable like he fell from some space and the truth of the matter is he didn't fall from no space there is no space where he fell from it's just that Tinubu has so affected so many people that they would rather protect him than saying the truth if there is anything to hide you know Tinubu is not that man that eats alone uh -huh. If there's anything you can't tell you, don't call him a stingy person. Oh, yes, he shares it. Okay, the boys, they feel it. So if there's anything people have to, you have to remember that you cannot beat the fingers that fed you. It's an old adage and it's so true even today. So leave us a comment. We will sincerely, truly love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.